Well, hello to my lovely viewers, it's PNG. Thank you for tuning to my One Piece Battle Rush video. And today I'm going to do the top 10 characters for the current meta within the 3.5 anniversary of OPBR. And these top 10 characters are my own personal opinion. There's no voting system or surveys being conducted to uh, sort of like rank them. And they are, as I said, it's my own personal opinion and on my observation in the league. These 10 units are really strong. They're generally going to be occupied by the extreme units, the EX units which is no surprise, and some Bounty Festival units. But of course, um, they're not going to be everyone's favourite ranking um, because it's, uh, it's overall my own personal opinion. And if you did uh, like the list and the ranking, then put a like on this video, of course. If you don't like it, put a comment down below and put your own list and share it with the community so who knows which is probably need to make that worth top 10 uh, mentioning. Okay then, let's just get to the list. Number 10, Land of Wano, Marco. Marco, for me personally, I would say he does deserve one of the 10 units because he is quite heavily used in the league. He is, has the power of a near extreme unit due to that he is another sort of like a copy of Oden and Yamato where when he captured treasures, he have no issue of getting interfered. One good thing is he can't get knocked back. He can't get um, sort of like... At, get knocked off while attacking from the outside of the treasure, you will have to keep damaging him to the point that he could not hold it any longer and or status inflict him. Then it will stop him from capturing. That's the only way. So in clutch situation, Marco is really crucial. He will help you to win a lot of games and his skills will be really good. Phoenix Brand pushes your enemy off the treasure instead of knocking them back. Well, technically it does, but it's a, a skill that pushes any tanky defender off and then you can just steal the treasure from really, really deadly and Phoenix help yourself from uh, recovering HP and your allies and plus traveling around the uh, map. So I'd just say man, Marco is definitely one of the best units in the game. Number nine, Don Quixote Pirates Captain Don Quixote Dof Flamingo. Young Dolphy is definitely still going to be one of the top units because of his near broken uh, skill 2. Spider Web God Fred creates a shield at front of him and it stops your enemies from attacking you. Uh, as long as you just know how to manipulate the shield and just move back and forward and attack your enemy, you will destroy your enemy and it's pretty much a protection and it's a, a skill that annoys all of the players. And his trait is near broken as well. Uh, if he gets his 300% crit boost added on top of here, which is 30%, he will damage you so rapidly you will die and also if a good pro player can manage his hp below 50 percent then yeah you will not able to do anything to him he's not only can do 100 percent more uh, damage increase on his normal attack he can not be inflicted with static infliction so yeah he is really strong that's why Dolphy will be lasting in the meta for a long long time number eight the strongest creature alive kaido Kaido is my favorite EX defender. Um, unfortunately, right now, he does attempt to struggle a little bit in the league because of the overrun of Film Red, EX Shanks, Roger, and Odens. Three top powerful green units that can give Kaido a lot of headache. Oh, uh, well, but Kaido still has his magic because if he does able to get his 70% attack, I mean, defense increased, then he's become so tanky that those three units will find it a bit challenging to take him out. And also, he has the ability to remove their stupid attack increases from both them because as long as he knock back your enemy, um, he will able to remove those attack increases, then he'll be so tanky that he is unstoppable. His um, skill to no escape is quite crucial right now. He will need that to defend all the treasures and knock off all those extreme attackers' um, attack increase. Blast Breath just Make sure stay in the right location to uh, do some support fire to blast off your enemy off the treasure. So yeah, um, Kaido is still really strong. And as I said, he's still my favorite blue defender. Number seven, Daimyo of Kuri, Kozuki Oden. Oden is my favorite EX runner. Uh, extremely agile. Uh, as I said, key highlight is agileness. He's not only agile, he's quick. He will be able to provide you a lot of wins because of his skills and traits. Skill-wise, his um, gun modoki, a long-range charge attack that knock your opponent off and, and knock them back. Plus, he is temporarily invincible when he uses it. So this is a very good skill to clear out your enemy of the treasure and steal the treasure. His uh, Paradise Tosoka helps you to destroy defenders. And his trait, near invincible when he's capturing. The only way you can knock him off the... Uh, treasure while capturing is attacking from the outside of the treasure or do a knockback attack but it does work uh, much better if your 
allies trying to attack you from the outside, but some enemies inside the treasure still attacking you, he's going to be invincible. No one can stop you apart from a knockback. So hence why Oden is another unit that can be very good at a uh, clutch situation. He can't win you a lot of games. That's just as long you focus on capturing treasure, you're unstoppable. Number six, Kaido's son, Yamato, or Kaido's daughter, really. Ka um, Yamato is just another upgrade version of Oden. Uh, she is quite a crucial unit. She can help you to beat the crap out of uh, EX Shanks, the red film red version, because she does have the ability to tank uh, attackers much more better than the, most of the runners. And she also has the ability to grab treasure without any interference. The only way you can knock her off the treasure is if you uh, inflict her with status infliction and knock back attack that's the only way you can stop her and she's very good at clustered situations like marco and oden her skill wise from the bagua really good uh you could just manipulate this if you want to use it to travel travel if not knock your opponent and if your hp is below 50 percent, it's pretty much a guarantee one shot same goes with the counter i will protect you uh if you manage to trigger it while her HP below 50% is a one-shot ability. But the most important thing is to help yourself to defend the treasure when you capture something. Because this skill is really deadly if you can't predict it. Yeah, so as I say, Yamato is another great unit to use in the league. Number 5. Film Z Zephyr. Zephyr is a really strong defender. He is one of the new EX units uh, that's was released in the beginning of 3.5 anniversary a really strong defender to stop the stupid ex attackers uh they he will annoy them a lot because of his ability to um use his skill one smash buster that put him in, in a buff state his upgrade state and he will knock them back this will convert his attack to knockbacks because if sephora keep knocking back uh the enemy he will remove all attack increases so he just make them softer and they can't attack him that and he won't be able to damage him his exclusive uh, skills, Dinah Stone, an explosive uh, nuclear explosion that remove uh, or damages your enemy 70% of their HP. And of course, once you use that, it will just convert to a long range laser shot. This is quite a strong attack as well. As I said, man, he is a also a power killer as well, power user killer. So yeah, if you want a decent defender, um, unfortunately, he is a technically a a limited edition character we will just you have to wait until bandai re-release him in the future then you probably might get him but right now if you have him he is a great defender to use to compete in the meta number four man who dreams of becoming the king of the pirates monkey d luffy or also known as for myself anyway expensive luffy <laughs> but overall he's no longer going to be valued expensive anymore i hope bandai will not uh, force us to uh, buy his uh, tickets for $2,400 or two thousand four hundred pounds to get him as a guarantee because EX Film Red EX Shanks is released he just botches him and of course he also struggled against uh, Ruja so right now he won't be that valuable anymore although he has dropped down a little bit with good good players he is deadly because of his traits that can rapidly get his skill uh, attack increases plus his skills Remember, these skills are invincible when you activate them, so you just need to bait your opponent. Uh, and once you catch them, especially at his skill 2, his gear 4, Bounce Man, King Kong Gun, this is a skill that you should be using most of the time to, to catch your opponent. Uh, but only use gear uh, Snake Man if you need to capture treasure. But this skill is the best one. Once, once you know how to master this expensive Luffy, you are dead. You can destroy any enemies. It's just only depending on the player right now. Number three, King of the Pirates, Goldie Roger. Well, Roger, you don't have to say much. He is literally the King of the Pirates. He's still a very deadly attacker. You just need to make sure focus on throwing this Divine Departure, or you also known as Kamusari. You probably hear that quite a lot. Throwing this long-range area attack that can rapidly build up your attack increase up to 100%. All you need to do is just land that Kamusari five times uh, to an enemy then you will get your 100% attack increase once you get that you'll be just one tapping your opponent and then wow well, uh, even uh, film red shanks can't uh, last long enough once uh, roger get his attack and he just pretty much would destroy any enemies once he's get those attack increase but of course just be careful with our kainu then the rest of the units are easy picking number two navy hq fleet admiral Arkainu sakasuki 
well, Akainu is probably, I would rank him really, really high, uh, except for, well, for Kof's, uh film red the Shanks will probably easily can take him out with a good player anyway. But with Al Kainu, he's a brainless unit. You just you don't have to really do much apart from just make sure avoid getting the attack when you are not in your mag mag state. Because once he's in his mag mag state using his meteor volcano, just play smart. You will destroy every enemy. But when you're up against someone like Film Red EX Shanks, just find uh, non Film Red Shanks and just incinerate them get your extra 50 percent attack increase then once you get that film red chance is just easy picking for you well, that's for the rest of the any any uh enemies anyway but if you play him right he will destroy and incinerate all the uh, enemies that you come across due to that his exclusive incineration status in fiction is just so deadly man so yeah our kindly will stay in the meta for a while and at number one, Film Red Shanks, the newcomer, and he is really powerful. Bandai just really overdid it a bit. Gave him some exclusive traits that is just near broken. Uh, once he activate his skill two, Griffon Frost, he will put him into the red haired hockey state, or well, just simply hockey state. Nobody can really stop him. He will not be able to be targeted and he cannot be statted inflicted uh, with any effects. So he is just too strong. And also once he's in his red hair hockey state, his skill one will be much more deadly. He can pretty much teleport anywhere he wants, long, long range, literally, and people feel like it's hacking, but it's not. It's actually just his ability. And of course he has the ability to, re uh, to get his attack increased so fast that you can't catch him up. Uh, all he needs to do is just keep knocking back your opponent. He can do that by using his skill 1. And his third attack on his normal attack, when he does a knockback, he will just get his 20%, keep stacking up to 100% quite quick, that he will just become the strongest unit on the match immediately, pretty much. So yeah, if you play him properly, he's just unstoppable. Even uh, if you put a uh, Arkainu Roger up against him, he, with a pro player, he's just not... Uh, defeatable so yeah film red shanks will be the top unit for a little while unless bandai suddenly release something new but anyway man he is the strongest unit right now okay this is my top 10 uh top 10 character list and of course if you did like the top 10 list please like the video and subscribe and share the video to anyone want to know understand now who is the top 10 units for the 3.5 anniversary but of course if you dislike it put a dislike comment down below and put your list and suggestion who should be mentioned before well be mentioned in within the top 10 but of course some if i did put like a 15 uh best characters there probably will be more but right now i'll just do the top 10 make it nice and simple and Hopefully that it's quite straightforward for especially new players so they know who to aim or who to get in the future. Okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you up in the next video. See ya.